Hi guys, it's Robin and welcome back to the Robin's Nest. I'm so glad you guys could join me today. Now, since you guys seem to love my last video so much, I thought I'd try my hand at another sugar sheet today. Except this time we're going to do it in a galaxy theme. I'm so excited to see how this one turns out, so let's get into it. Alright, so to start, I'm just going to quickly prep our cakes and get them out of the way and off to chill for when we need them later. So that way we can get to the fun part, the sugar sheet. Alright guys, so we got our cake fully iced in a gorgeous ultraviolet blue color and we've got that off to chill for the time being. So now it's time to color our sugars to match. Now as you might notice that I'll be using the same recipe as I used in my last sugar sheet tutorial and if you haven't watched that before you can find that in the eye up above. And it's going to consist of 150 grams of coarse sugar and one full tablespoon of glucose. Now as you'll see I have split up my sugar into four bags and this one consists of 75 grams for our black for our black sugar while the other three consist of 25 grams a piece and we're going to put our bright colors in that. So I'm going to get these mixed up and when I come back I'll explain the next part. Alright guys, we got all our colors mixed up and they're so pretty. I think they look great. And I really hope you guys are enjoying the video. And don't forget, if you're new to the channel and you'd like to see more videos like this one, click that subscribe button and ring that bell for new video notifications. Alright, now back to the sugar sheet. It's time to add our glucose. So I'm going to start with one of these 25 gram bags and I'm going to add 2.5 milliliters to each one of these bags. And once I get to the 75 gram bag, we're going to add half of a tablespoon. So I'm going to use my offset spatula and my bowl here and get these all mixed up. And when we come back, we're going to start making our galaxy pattern. Alright, so I got all my colors mixed up and I'm just going to start playing with them. I'm going to put them here, there, and everywhere. And then I'm going to grab another piece of parchment paper and we're going to cover that all up. And I'm going to use my big rolling pin here, which you can find a link in the description box below for. And we're going to use that to roll out our sugar sheet nice and thin. Alright, so I've rolled out my pattern and I think it looks great. I'm really happy with how it looks. Just show you guys right quick. Now it's time for drying. So the last time we made one of these, we did the air dry method and it took a really long time. So this time we're going to try the food dehydrator and see how long it actually takes. So I'll see you when we're dry. Alright guys, it's time for the fun part. I have my cake here and my sugar sheet. It's ready. We had this cooking for approximately one hour at 55 degrees Celsius in my food dehydrator. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is wet the cake a little bit and just get it a little bit sticky and then we're going to pick up our sugar sheet and get it into place.
Alright, so we've applied our sugar sheet and I think that looks great. I'm so happy with how it turned out. So the next thing we're going to do, because I'm not done yet, I'm going to take a little bit of this edible silver paint and we're going to go along the edge of our sugar sheet with it. And then I'm going to finish it off with this cute little man in the moon topper that I created, some little silver fondant stars, and perhaps a few little flicks of silver paint as well all over the cake. So we'll see how it turns out. Well guys, it's all done and I'm so happy with how it turned out. I'm so in love with it and I think I might like it better than my last one. I really hope you guys all like it too. If you did, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up and let me know what you think down in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching.